Hey everybody, Rob the Big here, and today we're going to be looking at Ninja Turtle from the bootleg Ninja Turtle line. Pick this up today, uh, kind of a weird story. I was walking around New York, I was on vacation, and there was some creepy guy in an alleyway, it was a little dark, and he was kind of nudging me to go in, so I did, and I noticed there was a Ninja Turtle movie poster for the new Ninja Turtle movie coming out, Out of the Shadows, and it reminded me, hey, I should pick up some Ninja Turtle lines. So I went on eBay and I picked these up. So I got every single one, it all came in one set. It's all pretty accurate, their swords and everything, but, these are bootleg, as we all know, so they're not as good as the original with a couple problems. So, we're going to be using Donatello, who's my favorite Ninja Turtle of the lot. I'd always liked his bow staff here. So, on the detail-wise, these look almost identical to the original. Uh, the head articulation, a lot of the articulation is very similar, uh, but the plastic used, I'm guessing, is a lot cheaper. Uh, it smells weird, just like the Darth Maul figure. Uh, it smells very funky. This is probably not for kids, so I'm probably going to have to not touch this anymore. Uh, but detail-wise overall, I'm pretty sure the colors of everything are pretty accurate to the original figure. But I do notice a problem with Leo and Dono. Their little strap here makes it so their waist kind of goes like that. Leonardo's kind of sort of stuck in that position, so you kind of got to line it up, but it sort of pushes it back. But uh, Raph and Michelangelo, not the same problem. Back here, they have their strapper here. I've seen another video where someone actually broke this just by moving it a little bit. So this, if you pull it off more, it's going to break. Uh, they all come with their weapons, like his bow staff, for instance, but they're in lamer quality. This thing is like licorice. I mean, it might as well be licorice. That the Leonardo side things. I don't know the original weapons, but I'm sure they're pretty better than this one. This is just nothing, and then the handle is pretty easily and gooey. Fits right back here. That's where they stop. I'm guessing, you know, you can get them sort of a, you know, pose like that. And, um... Leonardo uh, is a little broken here. I guess that's what they mean by heroes in a half shell. Michelangelo, I put these in here because they don't exactly fit into his hands. Little dicey. That one fits okay. Then Raph, his fit okay in here. And then in his belt. Not too bad. I think Raphael is a pretty, pretty solid, pretty solid copy. And then there are little sewer things which came with the original figures. Kind of, kind of feel kind of gross, but they're pretty accurate. Um, each of the turtles fit respectively on their own. Fine. And their facial expressions. These look pretty good. These look pretty, pretty accurate. Just like the Darth Maul figure. I think the Darth Maul figure is a better ripoff. But this one, these figures seem like a lot more difficult to pull off. And in a lot of ways, they really did. I, I don't get why these people are so talented at making ripoffs. Why don't they just make their own toy line? But okay, let's go through each thing. The head articulation. Pretty much the same as the original, I want to say. Not that I owned it. Arms, though, this is where we get dicey. The arms, they go out that far. I mean, that's it. That's all they do. They don't even move, really. And there's no bicep articulation. No swivel right there. So they took that off. But double-jointed double jointed elbows, so that's good. And then you do have a wrist rotation, but no individual finger articulation. Waist here. Yeah. Little torso -y. A little bizarre. Okay, and then legs. This is probably the worst part. It's accurate, pretty accurate, but they're terrible. Now they upper swivel right here, but I believe the original figure does have a thigh swivel. They use sort of a different other mechanism to swivel, I guess. Double jointed. And then ankle pivot. All around, all that. But here's the problem. 
these legs are like horrible. <laughs> You can barely stand these up. So if you do happen to buy these, which I don't recommend because these are bootlegs, that's theft. Thieves made this, you horrible person. Why would you buy these? You're gonna have to lean them against a the shelf, basically. All in all, these figures look pretty good. If you're just gonna have them on the shelf, they look pretty accurate to the original figures. They're kind of cheap. They smell weird, but Hey, I mean, they're about 50 bucks each individually. I mean, I guess if you want to rank over that, I got the entire lot for under $30. So yeah, buy at your own risk, I guess. So yeah, check out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Oh, did that? Oh, that already came out. Damn it. This was supposed to be a kind of a marketing thing. You notice when, you know, a big movie's coming out, YouTubers kind of, they decide, they talk about a movie without actually directly talking about it, you know, so I did sort of a Ninja Turtle thing. They, they bought me a whole new studio and everything. I mean, they paid a lot of money for this area that I have right here. Well, see it anyway, it's, it's a great movie. Yeah. Michael Bay's producing. Alrighty. Rob the Big here. I will see you guys later.